Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You know, we speak of Haiti as a poor country, that Haiti is a poor country. Haiti has historically been an exploited country. Haiti is actually a very rich country, rich in spirit, rich in culture, rich in natural resources. But what we don't want to talk about here today is America's responsibility in the exploitation through imperialistic foreign policies of Haiti. Remember, the Marines invaded Haiti. The United States occupied Haiti on July 28, 1915. The United States, through imperialism and colonialism, occupied Haiti, exploited Haiti, took out the natural resources of Haiti, brought in American corporations. Haitian women used to make baseballs for Rawlings for ball players in America to knock them out the park and make more money than a Haitian woman making the baseball by the time they rounded the bases after they hit the home run. America supported Papa Doc, Jean-Claude Duvalier, a murderer, a dictator. America supported him murdering Haitian people because he, along with Baby Doc, allowed for the exploitation of Haiti. That's what America did. That's what America did. And so we sit here, and yes, Trump needs to be hit every way you can hit him. But don't let Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton hide behind a Trump hit when they exploited Haiti as well, when money was supposed to be given to the Haitian population. Don't let the American President Woodrow Wilson and others who came after him hide behind Trump. Trump is horrible, a racist, a fascist, everything you can think of. If you can create any other names, he's that too. We don't want to talk about policies even under the prior president that was hurtful to Latin America, hurtful to Africa, a command military bases in Africa, not humanitarian aid. We don't want to talk about that, but we need to because America owes a debt to Haiti, and so does France. They owe a debt to Haiti. How dare France say Haiti has to pay them reparations? After they colonized Haiti, America owes Haiti reparations to repair the damage that this country did. Y'all come up here talking about we all Americans, we have the same blood and all of that stuff. Well, tell your same blooded American government to pay Haiti their reparations. Tell France to pay Haiti their reparations. Worse than the earthquake is colonialism and imperialism. That's worse than an earthquake because that lasts a long time. It lasts for centuries. America owes a debt to Haiti because of the revolutionaries, Buchmann, Dessalines, Henry Christophe, Toussaint L'Overture. They were beating France so badly and Napoleon was getting whipped that the French had to sell Louisiana to America because of the Haitian Revolution revolutionaries. We need to understand that history. So when we get up here and talk about natural disasters like an earthquake, don't forget the human disaster of imperialism and capitalism and how its tentacles of racism reach across the globe and creates poverty, death, and destruction in smaller countries that they could bully with their military force. So as we stand for our brothers and sisters who are victims of this earthquake, we should always remember we have a responsibility of making the foreign policy of America more humane and just for the countries that they exploited. America has an ugly history of exploitation and imperialism that we don't want to discuss. Ugly. And we need to pay these countries back. They deserve it, and we owe it to them.